Okay, admit it. You bring your laptop to class supposedly to take notes, and you find yourself checking Facebook or looking at videos, things like that. Oh, you sure do. Mm -hmm. Well, some professors are starting to catch on. Carolyn Chandler reports. Meredith Murchison is an international studies major and brings her laptop to class every day. She thinks it's an important tool for her to be successful. I always use my laptop in class because it's easier and quicker for me when I'm trying to listen to the teacher and take notes. But Murchison and other students might not have the option to use laptops in some classes. You discovered that the technology alone... Some professors are banning laptops in class because they believe they're a distraction. Dr. Kathy Packer banned laptops in her classes for the first time this past fall. I was really tired of talking to people who weren't paying attention. And I know they weren't paying attention because I'd be at a part of the lecture where I'd be talking about spring break, or telling some bad story about bird watching or something that, you know, there was no reason to take notes. And I'd have people in the back of the room who were typing nonstop. And she may have a point. Professors who allow laptops in class may be unaware of what really does go on behind those screens. While some students do use them to take notes, others use them for Facebook, to check the news, a place to hide their cell phone, and even watch TV. Associate professor in the School of Education, Steve Notek, says laptops can be detrimental to learning if used incorrectly. Uh, we can only attend to one or two things at a time, and if you are attending to something else like what's going on on Facebook, uh, you can't do the hard work that's necessary for you to get the investment on your education dollar, basically. Despite laptops being a distraction for some, Murchison thinks banning laptops will hurt students that use them appropriately. Students will use the computer for the wrong reasons. They'll go on Facebook, they'll go on Twitter, but those students don't really want to learn anyways, so it's not fair to take it away from those who do want to learn and want to use it um, in a beneficial way. In Chapel Hill, I'm Carolyn Chandler. No word on the number of professors banning laptops from class. The university doesn't track those numbers. Despite the laptop ban, Dr. Packer says grades in her media law class did not improve, but class participation did.